There's a new moon in Pisces on the 2nd of March. Let's take a deep breath. Pnebma is a Greek word that means breath. And it's the same meaning as in spirit. How are we perceiving the spirit in this material human condition? It's a beautiful opportunity to embrace to surrender to the breath. Without the breath, there is no life. And while we are at the side of life, it is through the breath that we can transform everything, everything. There's a beautiful condition in the chart of the day where we have, if you see the chart, there's a lot of planets all on one side of the chart. So depending where they fall, in your chart, they are in the last quarter of the zodiac. So we have a cluster in Capricorn. We have some other planets in Aquarius. And we have some other planets in Pisces. So there's a closure. There's a revision. If you're aware of what you've been working on since mid-December, in terms of what are your needs, how have you been revising all the things that you value, everything that gives you structure in your life, how have you kind of come to terms to the things that you must let go. It's quite interesting because doing that Venus retrograde work, I have come to terms of like restarting a new way. There's a new horizon there's a new way of seeing things and relating to others. There's a new perspective that I want to apply to. Now, when things get into Pisces, there is a surrendering to the spirit, to a higher force that is bigger than our heads and our personas. This is when we go back to spirit. This is when we come, become one with it. There is an act of surrendering. And it's not giving up. It is just accepting, embracing that we're human. And no matter what we have gone through, we also are accepting our condition. And that means if you need to just make peace with your own life, with the peace of others, this is a time to just embrace that. Some people call it forgiveness. I wouldn't say that word. It has a lot of charge. I would say just acceptance. It is like when you're mourning something, there is acceptance. And once there is the acceptance that something is finished, has ended, it has dissolved, then there's a new opportunity for new life, something to emerge. So this is really the energy right now. Something new is emerging. And the question is, what is emerging inside of you that has some sort of optimism? It has some sort of hope. It has some sort of light. It has the potential of the breath to keep on transforming itself into a life that is so full of opportunities for evolution. Yes, there's a sadness all in the air because we just finish a very big cycle and now beginning another one and then all over again. But isn't that what life is about? These cycles. So there's a tendency to be drawn into a depressive nature of giving up and finding a lot of um, sadness when we look outside of ourselves. Is there any possibility to tap into the beauty of the breath? into understanding that, yes, the structure is changing and it's going to take some time. And no, nobody knows where we're going. So if we're looking for security and if we're looking for things to be defined and to be um, shown to you with a receipt that this is exactly what's going on, you're in for a very big deception. So important to stop projecting and important to stop like um, expecting things from others. It is in the acceptance. 
It is in the breath of the moment that anything new can emerge. And what can emerge is a sense of understanding that it is with your light, with your sun, with your spark that you can bring joy to this specific moment. And you will say, how can I be having joy right now when everything is going down? Well, I would say, just go out and look at nature. The dolphins are still playing in the water. <laughs> you know, the plants are still looking up and, and, and pointing their face up to the sun and the light. We all have that potential. But when our mind gets stuck in the unfairness of what life is, because it is unfair, there is no potential. So the potential for this new moon is to really understand that as long as you stay connected to your own breath and to your sense of joy that you're serving as a human being with all your mighty heart and you're following your truth, the potential is in that deep, deep nepma, the beginning and the end of this existence. It is with the breath. Enjoy this moment. There's no other moment like this right now. There's no other moment that is more important in life than the present moment. Much love.